So, hi, welcome to um, What the NFT. This is the first show uh, of the series, and the question we're going to ask is why do you want to create an NFT? There's probably three main reasons that people go into creating NFTs. Uh, we'll cover them all off. The first reason that people or people say they want to create NFTs and what I hear a lot of people talking to me about and what you see a lot on uh, social media is that they want to create uh, NFTs simply just to make money. So, uh, can NFTs make you money? Yes, absolutely they can. Is really putting your time and effort aside to make NFTs purely to make money the best use of your time? I don't think so. Um, I think there's a lot of problems with this if you're just looking to create NFTs solely to make money. Uh, first thing is there's lots of other ways to make money. A lot of other ways are a lot easier and a lot more proven to make money than creating NFTs are. The reason people think that NFTs is a great way to make money is survivorship bias. That means they'll only see successful people who are making uh, NFTs. And it's the same with anything. It's the same with YouTube as well, for, um, for exact same reasons. YouTube, similar to NFTs, will only show you the successful people who are doing it. I guarantee you for every uh, Bored Ape Yacht Club project there is, or Crypto Punks project there is, there's a lot of people out there who made NFTs and hardly sold any. Um, but you don't see them, you never see them, okay? So that's the problem with survivorship bias. The other problem with um, just wanting to make money off your NFTs is that your art, the product that you create will be highly disingenuous or extremely over-engineered. And that is because people look to imitate what's already working. There's nothing particularly wrong, I don't think we're trying to imitate what's working, something works. Uh, learn from it and you know a lot of what we're going to do on this uh, show is look at successful projects and try to learn from how they've done that to increase your odds of having a successful NFT project. Successful NFT project different to I just want to make money out of NFTs. Um, the other thing is they become really derivative and they just become carbon copies of what other people have done already. Um, the reason that the projects that they're trying to copy are successful is there's a reason why they were successful and that the original creators of these highly successful NFT projects were at the right time, they had the right product, they weren't particularly trying to just um, copy someone, they actually wanted to create something of value. So that's uh, the number one reason why people, so if that is you by the way, if you are someone watching this video who just wants to make money out of NFTs, there's a lot of clickbait videos that will uh, promise you that you'll be able to do it. And I wish you success. I hope you're successful. But I'm going to really dive a lot deeper into uh, the NFT creation process than those videos do. I think, uh, so number two reason, and number two reason why you might want to consider making NFT, and I think this is a much, much better reason, is, in fact, reasons number two and number three are much better reasons than number one is reason number two is that because you want to make art. If you love making art and you want to share the art, your art with the world, you'll have far better success in, in making NFTs. And I don't just mean financial success. I mean the type of success where you're actually enjoying your time making the NFTs, that you're feeling um, infused and driven and pumped up with excitement for all the ideas that you have for the fact that you can't wait to share your art with the world. And when someone, uh, if someone does buy your NFT, you'll have a great feeling. I'm not promising you that you'll make loads of money, but I guarantee you, you'll actually do the process and you'll see the process through right to the end um, by actually doing it for the love of art. Also, you'll improve as an artist. I've created my first collection, Pixel Race. And the things that I learned actually just creating that, those images far more than I would have done if um, I didn't have anything to to kind of push myself up against and force myself to learn, not just learn new techniques, but actually do the techniques. Again, in this video series, we'll be diving through uh, the process behind that. And yet, yeah, reason three to want to make an NFT uh, project is if you plan to integrate it into something uh, that's a bigger project. So like we spoke about earlier, a lot of NFTs 
They come with some utility. They come with some, you can call it unlockable content, I suppose. So if you're planning on making a bigger project, whether it be a game, a metaverse project, and you would need NFTs to unlock utility, then that's actually a very, very good reason why you'll want to uh, consider making an NFT. So yeah, it's not all about making money. I mean, obviously, I hope you are successful, whatever success means to you. Um, if you have uh, any other reasons that you make NFTs, drop it in the comments below. I plan to make a series of videos about the NFT creation process, some of the strategies you'd, you'd want to use, all the way down to a granular points about using Procreate and how to upload a big collection to OpenSea. If you've got any particular topics that you'd like me to cover, again, drop your questions in the comment section. And while you're here, head on over to my website where you can download my free book called What the NFT, which is based off of this show. Um, absolutely free, just uh, follow the link uh, in the description video. And uh, also, why not um, consider my, uh, my Buy Me A Coffee page if you'd like to support the channel and support the different creative projects that I'm up to. Uh, remember, hit like, hit subscribe, and I shall see you on the next video. Okay, thank you. Bye.